this song called Going Down Country. down country uh, my name is Doug McLeod and I make uh, original acoustic blues music my definition of blues is in fact it's on the new album uh, break break the chain um, we did a spoken word about this I believe that this music blues is a music of overcoming adversity not subjecting to adversity overcoming adversity not subjecting to it was uh, years uh, about nine years ago? I was I was here in Holland and I was drinking a Belgian beer after a show, and uh, it was one of those Trappist beers, so I was taking my time with that thing, and uh, it dawned on me. I said, "This is a music of overcoming adversity, not subjecting to it." I thought about who created this music. Slaves created this music. I thought of the conditions under which this music was created. And that's what I saw when I was a young man and I traveled with the old blues man. I saw them overcome adversity and how they did that. One of the ways they did it was with humor. They loved to laugh. They laughed all the time. And to tell you the truth, man, I hope we don't lose that in blues. I hope we keep that because humor is something that helps you get through this life. And I truly believe this. If, if, you, if you pack your sense of humor, if hard times come to you, storm clouds, they will diminish sooner if you're able to laugh at them. Your successes, if you're able to laugh at your successes, your head size diminishes sooner. So that means you're moving on a nice, even level. And I think that's what I learned from playing with the old blues man. And that's what this music means to me. My city woman make me so tired. This song on uh, my new album, again, the Break the Chain album, it's called Who's Driving This Bus? It's about, uh, you know, I don't care if you're on the left politically or on the right politically or right down the center. Sometimes you got to wonder who is driving this bus? Why does all this stuff happen? And um, they've been, t blues, it's a folk music. It's a folk music. It's a people's music. And, um, I agree with Joe. I, ho I hope we don't lose that. I hope we don't lose the humor. And I hope we don't lose sight about the power of this music and how it can help people get through the difficult times and celebrate the good times. But there's a tribute to uh, the late Tony Joe White because uh, just a few days ago he passed away and uh, he was a major influence on me for my songwriting. And uh, this song, when you hear it, you're going to say, oh, yeah. Old Doug listened to Tony Joe White. I sure did. Sir, he's doing warm. Uh, we had moved from New York area uh, to St. Louis. And um, I was going to high school. And uh, I met this guy named Steve Waldman and he and I are still closest friends and I remember Stevie telling me he said man let's go hear some music and coming from New York I wanted to hear like uh you know doo-wop and stuff you know and he said no man let's go hear some blues I said blues we don't want to hear no blues man he said let's go hear some doo-wop he said I'm taking you to the blues so we went I believe it was South St. Louis somewhere because blues was all around St. Louis all over that town and we went into this uh, it was like a teen hop or a, a, I think it was called Sunset and it was either Eugene Neal was playing or Benny Sharp was playing and when I heard that music I knew that music was speaking to me 
because of my ch- you know at that time I didn't realize the uh, the abuse of childhood I had because I had blacked it out it was a traumatic experience and I didn't remember the first eight years of my life but I knew something in that music was talking to me and I figured I had to be around not only that music but the people making that music and I was lucky enough that that, would, that happened for me Having me a bowl of red bean and rice and two beers just to wash it on down. It was a hot, sultry day, as I remember. The sun was relentless at best. She walked in, upset the place in a plain tight cotton dress. Now she is says to When I when I'm writing songs, I want to make sure that I'm saying the truth and and saying it in a succinct way. You know that I'm not using too many words. That I'm just trying to say it and get the message across. But I also I love playing the guitar, so I have a lot of fun when I play. And I love entertaining people. I love telling stories and making people laugh. I laugh too, it, you know, so it's the best of both worlds there. This is a, a brand new book that uh, Vincent Abati wrote, and it's hopefully this will be the first volume in many of this thing called Who's, Who is Blues? And um, when I started out, uh, when I was a young boy, I, I was abused, and it really messed me up. And um, I, I, I would find relationships they were not good for me, and mainly violent relationships. Violent relationships, not only on, on, on both sides, on both sides. So I can't say it was all against me, but um, on both sides. And um, I finally got to therapy, and in therapy, I started to, they started to help me realize what had happened when I was a boy. And... Um, I remember when our son was born. Now, my wife, Patty, and I, we, we've been married 39 years. Our son is 34. And when he was little, which you can relate to now because you just got a little baby, and they fit right there in your forearm, and their head's right there in your hand. They fit right there. And I looked, I looked at his eyes, and they were like puppy dog eyes, trusting. And I remember what the first psychologist told me if you've been abused you could be an abuser wow and i looked at my son and i said no it stops we break the chain that's the title song of the new album that just won the blues music award that is breaking the chain of abuse that people can do it the message is from that that you was a victim when this happened to you there's nothing you can do really to defend yourself against it because they're adults and you're, you, you're, you're a child. But like I say in the book, that's what this book is about, overcoming adversity, not subjecting to it. And what I say in the book is this, uh, a quote that I use now, even from a pile of manure, a rose can grow. And I'm living proof of that. So yeah, I'm a happy guy now. 
I got a good, I got a good wife. I got a good son. I got good, good friends. I travel with this, with this man here. I, I, I'm, I have a good life, and I'm blessed every day. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm a happy blues guy. You tell me life, life ain't nothing. But what you choose You tell me life ain't nothing oh, But what you choose When I woke up this morning all I had was my blues. You know, when I woke up this morning, all I had was my blues.